Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And my honorable colleague for Leeds, Granville, Thousand Islands, and Rideau Lake, I'm going to again point out that the differences are not so much differences, but continuing evidence that a company like SNC-Lavalin or large corporate influences in Canada get into doors that other Canadians can't get through, whether they are civil service doors or politically elected doors. So I would remind him, and we had the earlier example of the fact that the trip to Libya involved uh, then-conservative foreign affairs minister John Baird, but the elevation of people associated with the scandal by former Prime Minister Stephen Harper includes Arthur Porter, who was implicated in a bribery scandal with SSE Lavalin over the uh, McGill Hospital issue. He was made the head, I mean, he was given the highest security clearance in this country and made the head of the National Security Intelligence Review Commission by former Prime Minister Harper. Uh, the man who was the chair of SNC Lavalin through all of the dealings that are under uh, at the moment before the court, he was also chair of the governance committee, uh, was another one of Stephen Harper's most trusted and close corporate uh, friends, and that's Gwen Morgan, who has an, a, a, a career in the energy business. But Stephen Harper put him forward to be the head of the National Public Appoints Commission. My point here is not to attack any one individual, but to say the pattern of large government influence by people like corporations like SNC-Lavalin, regardless of who's in office, is a real problem. And we should be getting at that. How do we root out uh, what is essentially systemic levels of corruption because our governments in general have become too beholden to corporate interest and influence? Member for Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands, and Rideau Lakes. Well, thanks very much, Mr. Speaker. I'm sure the member for Saanich Gulf Islands will get that Senate appointment from these Liberals that she's looking for quite soon. Um, but when it comes to when it comes to this SNC Lavalin scandal and the Liberals, uh, we've never seen we've never seen anything like it. When called on the carpet, it resulted in what was predicted by the then Attorney General to be a massacre, a Saturday night massacre. Everybody. Uh, everybody lost their job. We lost the Attorney General. We lost the Treasury Board President. We lost the Clerk of the Privy Council. We lost the Prime Minister's BFF, Jerry Butts. Everybody got fired. And then we had a game of cabinet shuffles every week. This is unprecedented. And it all is born out of uh, corruption that is sourced and rooted at the highest levels of this Liberal government. The Honourable Member. Oh, of order. It's a personal privilege, Mr. Speaker, and I just want to, to say that there is no need whatsoever for the member for Leeds, Granville, Thousand Islands, and Rideau Lake to suggest for one minute that I want anything other than to be the elected member for Saanich Gulf Islands. I have no interest, and I'm not pandering to any political interest for personal advancement. I ask him to withdraw his unnecessary and, and absolutely unworthy comment.